Hello everyone, I'm Karen and I'm here from Sew and Save in Racine, Wisconsin and we're here at my sewing studio at the Paterosa for our month 11 of our cat's catapult block of the month. We do this in conjunction with our Sew What Club that meets every month um, on the third Monday of every month at Sew and Save in Racine and you can follow along with us from home. All you need is the catapult instruction sheets and a cat's cradle ruler. So let's talk about what we're doing this month. This is month 11's block. It is all about the cat's cradle block. All of these are cat's cradle blocks. You're going to make um, three sets of the brown and blue and two sets of the gold and red. So what you're going to need this month is two gold rectangles. That's going to be for your gold and red um, cat, cat's cradle block. So along with that, you're going to need four red squares so that you can make two sets of cat's cradle blocks. Then you're going to need your background pieces and all you need are these um, rectangles. So you're going to need 10. <clears throat> of these rectangles to go along with your cat's cradle blocks. Then you will need, oh, here they are, blue squares and brown rectangles. That's going to be for your brown and blue cat's cradle blocks. So this is a really fun block to make because all you're doing is twisting and turning the cat's cradle block to make month 11. So let's get started, get those blocks piece, or get these pieces cut out and we'll start making those cat's cradle blocks. This goes together super fast and you'll be ready to go with block 11. As I indicated in our introduction, this month is all about making the cat's cradle block. We're going to make three sets of brown and blue cat's cradles and three set, or two sets actually, of gold and red cat cradle blocks. So let's get started. First thing I did is I laid out all my background pieces and I'm gonna make both sets of, or all five sets of these actually, all at once. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six um, background rectangles set out to match up with my blue squares because remember we're going to make three sets of these and we need two sets of blue and background squares and rectangles to make each set. So we're going to set up six of these and I'm going to take these right over to my sewing machine so I get them all set up ahead of time. Six of these and in the end when we put all of this together we're going to have one extra cat's cradle block, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Right now we're going to make six rectangle background and blue squares, and then we're going to do four background rectangles and red squares together. This way we're going to make two sets of these and three sets of the blue. So I have all of these set up. I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine and sew at a quarter of an inch all the way down these um, edges. I'm going to then take them over to my sewing machine and or over to my iron and press toward my background on each and every one of these. And actually, I have that all done. So let me show you. So I have four red and background pieces put together and they are all pressed toward the background, away from the red square. Then over here, I have six blue and background pieces, all stitched together at the quarter of an inch and pressed toward the background. All right, now we're gonna take each one of these and lay them right sides together with the colored squares, with the blue squares on opposing edges. And then we're gonna do the same with the red. Get these all set up, doesn't matter how they're laying, they can lay that way or this way, but we'll get them all laying the same way. 
and then red with the red squares in opposing corners and do it this way and there we go now I'm going to stitch across the top of each one of these a quarter of an inch from the top just like we've done every month we'll fold it in half make our little clip and then press again away from the squares toward your background all righty do you have all these done you should have three sets of blue and two sets of red I have them all pressed away from our squares and toward the background now we're going to match these up you're going to match up three browns with your three blues I'm going to flip these over so that we can see this to draw our lines all right and then you'll end up with two four six blue and brown cat's cradle blocks and then you're going to match up the red and gold together and you'll end up with four sets of red and gold blocks then you're going to grab your ruler and we're going to draw our lines so you're going to line up your placement line with your little square oops and draw the line that you're going to sew on so we're going to do that with each one of these so that's going to take just a minute once we do that you're going to take these over sew them and trim them but we'll take them over sew them and then i'll show you how to trim them and get them just perfect perfect we've been doing this all year you should be really good at this can you do this in your sleep now i think i can i think i can i'm gonna get that one a little bit straighter there we go that looks better remember as you're lining these up to also kind of line these dotted lines along the edge of your fabric as you're going along that's what I wasn't doing on that other one so it didn't look so good so I think I'm going to come along and do this do this and then flip everything and come back and do the other sides doing this on a board like this or your even your if you have one of those rotating boards helps to get everything lined up and keep things from moving around as you're going through and lining up and drawing lines so now I got all these now I'm just going to flip my board around and do the other side remember we're going to sew this right on the line that we sewed not a quarter of an inch away right on the line that we drew i should say i think i said sewed but right on the line that we drew we're going to sew then i'll come back show you how to cut these apart and we'll trim them down and you'll be ready to put your block together isn't that amazing oops let's get them straight make sure you get them nice and straight there we go all right so right on these lines and come back and we'll trim them down now that you have all of these sewn it's now time to trim them and cut them apart so cutting apart first we're going to lay our creative grids cat cradle tool right along the seam that we sewed and trim and this guy is not coming apart there we go i'm having trouble here all right there we go okay it's too hard sometimes to go crooked so we're gonna go a little straighter there we go and we're just trimming off just a little bit see how much better that works when you're doing it right okay so we're gonna turn these this way so that I can cut them really nice this little seam line goes right along the seam that you sewed and you're going to trim that right off so we're going to do that with all the blues and all of the reds Go, move those out of the way and then do the last three that didn't take long at all did it pretty soon we're going to start sewing this together so right on the seam line and you're just trimming off that excess so that you have a quarter of an inch from the seam that you from the line that you sewed to the edge of your fabric two more and then we're going to cut them down to the size they need to be because of course these are way too big and a little kitty wampus aren't they that's the beauty of this everything is 
made smaller and then or larger and then you cut them down smaller so that's the best part of this is that all of these kitty wampus blocks and end, end up looking beautiful when you're done all right we're going to make our last cut here just like that now i'm going to lay them all out in front of me i don't know if i'm going to get all of these in front of me and in the screen but we're going to kind of go like this and i lay as many out as i can on my board this all over here and we're going to cut all of these down at the same time notice that i'm laying them all going exactly the same direction now using the instructions on the instruction sheet it's telling us to line everything up with the four on our trim side so we're going to line up our dotted line along here with the line that we sewed and the four along the um, line that we sewed in the square we'll trim off both sides and all i have to do is pick it up and lay it down and continue to cut so my dotted line is on the line that I sewed. The four line is also on the line that I sewed in the square. I'm gonna take that, double check it, and cut, and cut. Then I just pick it up, slide it over, trim it again. This is going to be just perfect. All of these are going to be exactly the right size that I need them to be when I'm done. Ta-da! They're perfectly ready to go now. Now we're going to go over to the ironing board and press our triangles up this way, and the seams are going to go toward all of those solid triangles. Get those pressed, bring them back, and we're ready to put our block together. So I have all six of my blue and brown Cat's Cradle blocks done, all nicely squared up and pressed, and four of my red and gold cat's cradle blocks all sewn up trimmed down and squared up now we're going to look at the picture well you can look up here or you can look at the picture down here to create your block i prefer to look at this and lay out all of my pieces lay my square out so i can make sure that i have them all lined up the way they're supposed to and match them up you know even with the picture up here so this would be okay but if you make a mistake and turn something the wrong direction or you know you could you could your block could end up looking different and that might not be bad but i think we're all trying to make the block look like we're supposed to so i'm going to kind of start up here and if you look you can see how the first block is a brown and blue cat's cradle block and it's laying with its triangle pointing toward the inside of the block. Then you're gonna have two, the easiest way to look at this is now you're gonna have two gold blocks right next to it. So then I'm going to lay a gold block here and a gold block here. So now you can kind of see gold, brown, gold. Now we're gonna flip the blocks and you can see that you're going to have your squares lining up with this row up here. So I'm going to start in the center because really what you're going to be adding are one, two, three blue and brown cat's cradle blocks. And so you can see we're going to fit one here, here, and here. So you're going to flip them going this way. Look at how that goes. Isn't that crazy? It's awesome. Look at how pretty that is. So you're going to line them up just like this. Alrighty, now I'm going to look at the picture down here again, and you can see I have one, two, three brown triangles, and I'm going to add in two orange triangles. So I'm, that way I know that I'm going to turn them going in this direction. And what have I got left? Two brown and blues. Remember we said we were not going to use one of those. One was going to be just an extra, and we're going to use five. 
there you go there's your block it's pretty cool by twisting and turning them and alternating them it creates one really really cool block and it looks like you did lots and lots of piecing and lots and lots of work so now i'm going to kind of divide them up a little bit here so we're going to come along and stitch this row let's separate the bottom row out so now we'll stitch this row this row and this row and i think what i'm going to do is to sew each row put it back down where it belongs so that then I can um, line up my center um, seams as I go along. So, so here is our completed block 11. I really like this block. Did you notice when you were sewing these together that um, your little squares nested really nice together inside of those? And as I sewed some of these little seams together, again, I just sewed where my seam was, checked to make sure that it lined up the way that I liked it. And if it did, then I continued and sewed the entire seam. And a lot of these, there were like two of these. So I did one, did the other, checked to make sure they were perfect, and then continued and sewed the entire seam. Then you just kind of have to look and check and make sure that you have everything laid out. And I'm looking at this and this, look at, this is looking wrong. Uh-oh, have you ever done that? I left it just so that I could show you that, oops, it's really simple to get these mixed up and twisted around. So what I'm gonna have to do is take this block out and flip it around. See how it's incorrect? So once you've sewed this together, double check it, and then if you've made a mistake, rip it out. So I only have to rip out this little bit. I don't have to rip out a lot. So I'm gonna rip that out, fix it, and then bring it back. Well, doesn't that look better? Now I have a perfect block number 11. Make sure that these two blocks, these two corner blocks are in there exactly the same way. And in fact, if you look at this pattern, all of the blue and brown cat's cradle blocks are all facing one direction and all of the red and gold cat's cradle blocks are facing the other direction. So that might help you as you're laying things out as well. You can see how easy it is to get one of these turned around and then your design doesn't look quite right. So check, double check and triple check as you're going along and you will have a beautiful block 11. So next month we'll do our last block and you'll be ready to sew your project together. Thank you for joining us this month and don't forget to join us at So What every third Monday of the month where we do this project and others. See you soon.